this is a CCTV power supply 12 volt 10 ampere let's see the inside what it is it has pulse transformer and capacitors now let's check its minimum voltage and maximum voltage all the connection completed mm, now its maximum voltage it shows 13.2 now turn out the potentiometer and it moving now it shows maximum 13.2 and minimum 11.5 that means it can produce at maximum voltage 13.2 and minimum voltage 11.5 Let's see the components. At first, it is 250 volt, 5 ampere glass fuse, and this is NTC register. And yellow one is filter capacitor, and it is EMI filter, and the four bridge rectifier diode, which converts AC voltage into DC and 100 ua 400 volt capacitors pulse transformer ferret core and also a power transistors with heat sink and driver ic and also optocoupler and two diode mbr 2000 and also TL431 a adjustable jenner and also this section is voltage divider and at the middle there are four 16 volt 1000 microfarad 100 1000 microfarad capacitors I have to change these capacitors with 35 volt 1000 microfarad for its when its output become 24 volts. Now let's see the optocoupler and TL431 are connected here. Registers are highlighted here. Here R1 is 22k and R2 is 5.1k and 1k potentiometer.
now replace the 16 volt 1000 microfarad capacitor to 35 volt 1000 microfarad capacitor and it is now soldering Now I change the fixed register 5k 5.1 kilo ohm by 2 kilo ohm registers. This is 1k potentiometer and I have to remove it first. Now it can charge my two lithium ion battery pack 24 ampere and 7 ampere and it's fine.